hello viewers thanks for watching our videos if not hit subscribe please subscribe and hit the bell icon so in this module we are going to discuss second question is a square prism and cube are same explain if it's a square prism so this is square prism so what you can take this is square prism square prism so prism is nothing but the opposite sides will be parallel to each other and same dimensions it is like prism it is square prism why because all the sides are equal then it is cube or same so let's take this is square this is square prism and this is cube so in cube also all the faces are side same same so in cube and square prism square prism sides are equal sides are equal the next point what you can take here all the angles will be 90 degrees so all the angles will be 90 degrees so angles at corner 90 degrees then what you can take another point in square means all the sides will be equal and cube also equal angles also equal to 90 degrees of the corner points that's all we can make uh, many more means you can make it all the points this is enough next question can poly had drawn can poly had drawn had drawn have three triangular faces only explain poly had drawn means it should be closed figure and it should not be open figure three triangular faces only so let's take draw like this this is one face then then an another face will be what so let's take draw like this so how many faces are required here so actually this is one face and top face so this is front and back are there so this is another face this side and front side so how many faces minimum required number of faces is one two three four front five so minimum number of faces will be to form a polyhedron should be five so it's not possible so it's not possible possible with three triangular faces three triangular faces minimum requirement minimum required poly three triangular faces so minimum required triangular faces are five thanks for watching please subscribe so our fourth question is can polyhedra have four triangular faces only explain so in last question i explained with the what is that that is prism so here this is prism then we can draw pyramid also whatever we want you can draw that shape why because actually polyhedron in that both will be same so let's take triangular face and join like this so join like this then back side will be that one so four can be possible with four triangular faces yes this is one this is one face and we can draw with another side will be this is another side then let's take this is another side then front also there one will be another side so is that possible to draw triangular face like this yes it is possible with four triangular faces this is tetrahedron what you can call tetrahedron tetrahedron so what you can write here can poly at the four triangular faces yes one two three four one two three four so back side is four yes it's possible it's, it's possible with 
four triangular faces to form polyhedra polyhedra means just more than three or like that explain this is the way thanks for watching please subscribe complete the table by using euler's formula actually euler's formula is what is so euler's formula what is that is hs plus 2 so how you can remember is in Euler's E is there so for that if you add what is the remaining values we'll get that is the only so V plus F faces plus what is this for E just add 2 remember like that so first case that given that face will be 8 what is this will be A plus 2 will be equal to F plus V so E plus 2 F is what 8 plus 6 then e plus 2 will be equal to 8 plus 6 will be 14 then e will be equal to 14 minus 2 then e will be equal to 12 so what is that 12 our next one is e plus 2 will be equal to f plus v so e is what 9 plus 2 will be equal to f is there given 5 plus we don't know what is this we put it like that only so 9 plus 2 will be 11 f 5 plus v then v will be equal to 11 minus 5 then 6 so what is this will be 6 6 what is this then you will get the same thing our next one is what is that is so what they are given here is so e plus 2 will be equal to f plus v so e plus 2 e is 30 plus 2 will be equal to f plus v will be 12 so 32 will be equal to f plus 12 then f will be equal to 32 minus 12 then f will be equal to 20 so f will be equal to 20 that is the case our next one is can polyhedron can polyhedron have 10 faces, 20 edges and 15 vertices? So from Euler's formula, so from Euler's formula, you can check that. What is that is? E plus 2 will be equal to F plus V. So E plus 2. So what is edges that are given? So here, edges will be equal to 20. Then vertices will be equal to 15 then faces will be equal to 10 so substitute in the formula then we will get or not we will going to check edges will be 20 plus 2 will be equal to 15 plus 10 so 22 that will be equal to 25 so it's not equal 22 is not equal 25 then what you can say here is it's it cannot be possible or it's not possible it is not possible when it is possible so if it is a 22 so if it is a 23 23 edges then it will be possible so if it is a 23 edges then it will be possible how means if 23 plus 2 will be 25 that is the case thanks for watching please subscribe Hello viewers, thanks for watching our videos. If not to subscribe, please subscribe and click the bell icon. So in this module, we are going to discuss complete the following table object number of vertices and number of edges. So actually here, let's take locate number of vertices, locate here. Vertices I am locating like this. How many are there? Where two or more lines is joining, that is point is called vertices. So number of vertices will be 8. The number of edges. So this side 1, 2, 3, 4. This side also 1, 2, 3, 4. Total 8. So here 1, 2, 3, 4. So total 4 trees are. So 4 trees are 12. Next one. What is our next one as? Here number of vertices. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So number of vertices will be 5. Number of edges. 
so one two three four five six seven eight so here eight edges our next one is so number of vertices so here one two three four five then down also it will be one like this so what it this one actually here inside you will have like this so how many six then how many edges so here this side three this side three so one two three this is also back side three so nine you will have thanks for watching please subscribe